This was all due. All due for cleaning. To me, the elbow is like a jackhammer, and this is like a broom. Mm -hmm. Once you break up the rock into little pieces, then you can sweep. But the, to sweep in and of itself might not work if you don't have all everything broken down. And every visit, you keep chipping away at the boulder, and then you can sweep away everything once it's all been dissolved and broken down. And Yeah, I used to go to undergrad at Eckerd College, so I made that drive up to St. Pete. Yeah. Quite a bit. Mm. Super red. Yes, sir. You are. I kind of figured that. Yeah. There's lots of red. I've seen some of the videos. Some people turn the light red. Some people like the deep red. Yep. Yep. So what I really appreciate about the gua sha. It gets the whole tissue. I love cupping, but it you know you're missing something. Something. I, I did have that done once. Yeah. Exactly. And they and they you can do they do stuff where they move the cup, which is, I think yeah. is a little better if you can move the cup around, but or then you have to replace it and it just. It's a little it's a little too inactive for me. It's kind of a yeah. set it and forget it. I like the gua sha. It gives me the, get a kinesthetic awareness of the tissue by working it. I have to agree. Mm -hmm. Where I start singing the Frozen song, let it go. <laughs> yeah, let it go, let them go. Not helping you. Let them be evicted. Yeah, I there's a bigger injury here on this right side, right there. Yeah, I can feel it. See, I see it. You see it right there. to all, all the whole side. There's more on the right. Mm -hmm.
my shot is like, it's like, oh, just get it out of me. He has like a feeling of like, I can feel it internally <laughs> and combing out of me. Yeah, it's like, I know it's there, mm -hmm. but I just didn't mm -hmm. really have a way to right, it's hard to do much about it's it. It's always behind you, sneaking <laughs> yeah. up behind you, right? Your back's like that, always. Yeah, I expect this side actually more tender. This is all, like I said, this is more elevated. This is going to have actually yeah, more. Yeah, it is kind of touchy. Yeah, it's going to be more tender on the right. I know you're hurting on the left. Mm -hmm. That's the what we call the compensatory pain. Mm -hmm. But it's actually, in terms of the source of mechanics, it's actually the right being tight and out of alignment and actually throws the work to your left. But like this is what I, when I was massaging you, this was way tighter. frozen, stuck, stiff side that has the most lactic acid because it's, it's not getting good circulation internally. And now, how does the lactic acid get out of your body? So oxygen binds to it to form carbon dioxide and water. Now, the lactic acid, if, it, if it's in a tissue that's frozen, the tissue's not getting good blood perfusion, so the oxygen isn't getting in there to create that conversion. So by working on the area, you're driving blood into the area, that acid is being bound up, and then if, if essentially you exhale it and you know, get it out oh. of your body. Oh, but I didn't know that. When we have an injury, your body tightens up an area. And then part of it is that when an area gets really tight, it's actually making lactic acid. So when you're lifting weights and you feel that burning feeling, that's mm -hmm. lactic acid. So when you have an injury or bad posture, you have muscles, essentially like an engine, they're idling at a higher RPM than idle, <laughs> right? They're idling it. 3,000 or 4,000 RPM, so they're producing a lot more exhaust based on the need to guard or posture, uh -huh. right, or both, and then those are the reasons why, you know, edits, it felt better for a few days, but it came back because nobody turned the idle screw down <laughs> to reduce the buildup, and that's what we hope to change through the stretching, we're going to try to reduce that, and there's some on this left side, right side, but not nearly the amount that's over here. Should go down just a little bit. Perfect, you got it. source. We'll take a picture of your back in a minute, but oh, hello. Most of your back is just turning like a light, light pink or a little bit, you know, darker red. Then you have this real dark red right where the injury is, but the lighter red is really just circulation increasing and then we're in there's some acidity trapped in the area. It comes out as this mark. Do you remember anything over here? Hard to remember. Um, Are you feeling anything over here? I don't. Hard to remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I that right in there. It was like I just woke up. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Well, it healed stiff. So what happens is, if it hurt, it probably hurt for a very brief period of time, and then your body just locked it down. So you wouldn't have noticed it. The body compensates pretty quickly. There's the injury. I mean, real quick, it's coming up. Big. This was a collision, I would say. This is not just living your life. Something happened. 
That is an injury. I am, I mean, how, much, how gentle is this? I mean, <laughs> I am not combing that hard. It is pouring out of your right side of your neck. But yeah, that's, the mark is never normal. The mark represents the lactic acid that's been trapped in a stiff area that's been protected because of an old injury. You know, a mark might cut on the left, but I'm already I'm also combing more. You know, there's the, there's the abuse pain down there. There's the, mm -hmm. there's the, this is the left side on the lower down here is going to be, this is kind of the overstress mark. So the, on the left lower has been doing maybe two thirds of the work of your neck because you're in right avoidance. Did you have any rotator cuff issues when you were playing? No, not really. Not Actually, my left arm, my left shoulder will sometimes give me issues. What's right here? There it is. Jeez. Is there any place that I can't color on? Mm -hmm, not so much. Yeah, right here, wow. As a patient progresses, the mark will go away faster because that circulation improves to the point where I won't even be able to make a mark on a person. You know, this would usually be a handful of visits you would see this, and then all that happens is it becomes pink, and then you look at his back and go, Dr. Red's not trying anymore. It's no, it's simply there's nothing left in there. And um, this is old stuff here. How does that feel? I mean, I'm just curious when I'm doing all this, right? Doesn't, doesn't hurt too bad, right? You okay? Not too bad. It feels yeah. kind of like it's... Itching. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's sometimes people when they're watching, what are you doing, that poor guy? <laughs> you know, this is, this is the easier part than the elbow, right? The elbow was... Yeah, the elbow is... The way more intense than this. Yeah. And that this is actually what's making the biggest marks in terms of... No, the skin's fine. Yeah, it doesn't. It's what's underneath. It's in the muscles and the tissue underneath that's being drawn through the skin. Oh, you got that itch that I had. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. 
yeah, there's a, quite a bit of buildup in here to, to explain. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's pouring out of him. A lot of lactic acid. Both sides are, you know, responsible. The forward head posture is going to cause tension on both sides, but there's definitely like, you know, double, triple what's on the left. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some right here too. You know, blood's what brings nutrients in, takes the waste out. When an area becomes really stiff, that normal homeostatic circulation is being you know, reduced. And that's what then allows the areas to kind of just fall apart and weaken and get tight and keep positive feedback loop. So we have to kind of break that cycle. That's why you're, when I show you back in a minute, you'll see all the marks and go, oh my gosh, I didn't really know I was in there. And right in there, oh man. idea of her coming here to begin with mm -hmm. was the fact that she didn't think I would be able to drive myself after this. Mm. So I said, eh, might as well take you with me. Not a bad idea, considering you might be pretty sore. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think about it at first, but I don't know how bad it would be. Just tomorrow morning is going to be, if you can soak in a tub tonight, if possible, a couple cups of salt. That'd be the best. Otherwise, just it's going to be like going to the gym. The next day you're sore because yeah. you're out of shape. You know these joints up here don't work, and I'm making them work. And then tomorrow morning they're going to let you know how upset they are that I told them to work. And and then the idea is to continue asking them to function. And then eventually, once they start doing their job without you having to ask, then you usually start feeling better. All right. So backup arrives, and then it just continues to arrive and you don't have to keep begging it for it. Just a lot. That's why it didn't move. <clears throat> this is 
you know, how quickly the mark comes out also tells me how much is built up in there. You know, sometimes if you have to comb a lot and the mark comes out fine, but when you do a couple of swipes and all of a sudden it gets dark real quick, kind of like running a vacuum cleaner, a couple of little passes and you're like, whoa, <laughs> how much dirt's in the carpet? You know, you, the idea is, how, when, you, when, you, when are you done carpet cleaning? Well, when you make a pass and nothing comes up. <laughs> you know, there shouldn't be this pull that's happening. All that, that, all injury. I mean, I feel it. <laughs> like right in there, it's all kind of grainy feeling. It's like running a carpet cleaner. Nobody's made me passes in a while, so I'm getting Cheerios and dirt and. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so it's half human, half grape. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I came here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's about time to get these joints moving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. That's such a weird spot. Mm -hmm. It's a hiding spot. Your body likes to hiding stuff in here. Okay. So right there's a huge spot right there. Right there. Oh man. I'm this so conflicted right? because mm -hmm. it hurts but it also tickles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, like some of the marks are more like reddish, and then this one gets like real dark. Okay. So there's more there's an old. old right there, yeah. There's an old injury right in there. The darker the mark, kind of the longer the time the circulation has been stagnant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like tangles in hair. You gotta keep combing it until the comb, you know, goes through effortlessly. There shouldn't be any snags. I don't believe it. Mm -hmm. How quickly the mark comes out also signifies how much is inside. Sure. So when yeah. I when I just you know blow on, <laughs> I just start <laughs> gently guashawing an area and it comes out real dark real quick. It's like, geez, how much how many Cheerios are on the carpet? You know, like, how much dirt is in the right? You know, kind of idea. It's, uh, with the eventual you know goal that really with it, all that should happen is you get kind of a, a light red. Right. You don't get that dark red. It's 
feels it's way worse the other side this is the side he's sure. pinching that is really dark it came up quick so because his right upper is tight left lower abuse and that's going down his arm yeah. yep man that is exactly what i feel every single night yep it's right here every single night mm. Right. We talk about having a hard time going to sleep every night. It is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, exactly. Driving over here, that was the, mm -hmm. it came from out by the airport. Yes, sir. And it took me over by the, mm. I guess the wharf or whatever yeah. that is. That is a beautiful place over yes. there. I never knew that this was here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's your problem right there. I can definitely feel that. Jeez. Yes. There's two joints here. There's the facet, which is the joint between the vertebrae. Then you have the ribs that attach about an inch lateral. So you have both joints. To me, this is a collision. Something went off right there. It's not, it's not just the joints between the vertebrae. It's also the rib. So it's like it was a, right. a rib cage hit. You got me um, trying to think of. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Get all this out of here. It almost feels hot or something. Yeah, like yeah, here. yeah. There's a little mark coming out, so I can the area that has that knot on it right there. There's a little bit of a we call a gua sha mark. The gua sha mark represents the inflammation, the fluid, the your body kind of like puts a bunch of water balloons around something that gets injured, mm -hmm. <laughs> tries to cushion it. And that, when I adjusted you earlier, it felt like I was jumping on a trampoline. It, it kind of bounced off of it. It's filled with fluid. And you kind of have to compress that fluid out of there. And sometimes it takes a few adjustments to get the vertebrae moving after you've, you know, gua sha it, then you compress it and Sometimes it takes me a few visits to get this moving. I'll try my best today, but there's definitely a lot of fluid on the left side of your neck. It's coming down right there. There's the. I would argue this was here when you were a teenager. Something happened. Well, I had a bike accident when uh -huh. I was a teenager. Yeah, the first injuries happened in here. Yeah, so the, the and I flipped over the handlebars and landed on my lower back. Mm -hmm. So that was the beginning of it, I would imagine. I got you. Breathe. Breathe. I know it's tough. I feel it. Yeah. That little click right there, right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, that's it. That's a tear in the connective tissue. And then every subsequent pass, you'll get less and less. The first pass is with the carpet cleaner. You get the most, right. the most out. And so don't, this is usually the hardest visit, or second visit can be the hardest visit because you have everything you came in with and everything I stirred up. And then over a period of visits, it gets better and better as your body goes in here and starts to rinse out what's been trapped. Really quick, I mean, a lot came out right here. Real dark mark, so how quickly it comes out and how dark it gets signifies how much is inside. Oh, yeah. You know, when it comes out, sometimes it takes a lot longer to make a mark appear or it comes out light. When it comes out after a few swipes, it means that a lot of Cheerios were in the carpet. Oh. A lot of dirt was, was contained in there, and you got to get it moving. The mobility of the vertebrae is actually what keeps the tissue clean inside. We call it imbibition, the movement of the tissue washes the tissue. So when there's a restriction, the internal lymphatic and um, kind of cleaning mechanisms are shut down when there's no mobility, the sedentarism, the tightness, injury, posture. Well, it makes sense. It's like water that doesn't move if That's it's right. stagnant. That's right. No. You got it. What's interesting is that 
I've always tried to, um, you know, maintain a healthy diet, exercise, all that kind of stuff. And I know I pushed it for a lot of years, mm -hmm. kind of ex extreme. Mm -hmm. And I quit doing all that. Well, I had to quit doing all that. Um, but, um, but uh, as far as diet and mm -hmm. moderate, moderate exercise, just mm -hmm. making sure that I moved and and doing cleansing and you know I've always been mm -hmm. big about cleansing all of that though mm -hmm. could not solve yes, mm -hmm. what I've dealt with you have a mechanical problem yes it has to be fixed mechanically yes right so if we have a nutritional problem you can address it nutritionally 100% and, and if there's a toxicity problem you have to deal with toxicity but this is a mechanical problem your vertebrae the joints in here don't move properly and they're in the wrong position yeah, real quick, it comes out. There it is. Purpling up? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, that was like what? That was very gentle swipes. Very gentle. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's about as gentle as I can slide this over you. Yeah, I'm like, I mean, it's mm. purple from here to here. Wow. All the stagnation, tightness that's been trapped in here has to be unlocked. There you go.